Hey Roadrunners, today I have a challenge for you to use with your cubelets. You'll recall that we borrowed this challenge from another website and in Hour of Code when we met you played with your cubelets and then you also designed a playground robot. You thought I forgot all about your designs, but I didn't. I have some of them here and I put them in a book for you to see if you can make what other teammates and groups designed. So here's how this is going to work. Take your cubelets kit. In the kit you have all the cubelets you'll need and a charger because remember this blue one, this dark blue one, is your battery cube. And every once in a while you're going to remind your teacher that it needs to be charged because the light should be green. Okay? And you can do that right here. This, this end of the plug will go and you can see where it matches. Okay. So in your cubelets cube, um, kit, you should recognize your cubes and what they do. By now, you should know that this one is for brightness. This senses brightness or it lights up. Oh, which one is it? Hmm. I think the sensing cube is the black one. This one senses light and this one acts on light. Remember, you have your sensing and your acting and your doing. Well, acting and doing is kind of the same thing. Okay. So you have all your cubelets. So let's let's do an example together. I'm going to look at the, the design that this group came up with. Kaya, Lydia, and Jackson came up with this design. Now, if they did a well-thought-out job, they had a detailed sketch, and they explained what their robot would do. Let's see if they did that. The robot. It will go around the playground and kids climb to get to high places. Let's see if that makes sense with their detailed sketch. Oh, yeah, I can see how kids could climb high to get to high places. Okay, I also noticed that they labeled their cubes. So, some of this is going to be a discussion where you have to interpret or figure out from the clues which cubes they used. Hmm. Like automatically, I see the G, and I think since I only have one green cube, it's probably this one. I see two C's though, right here. And I know I have two clear cubelets, but one is the one with the wheels, and one turns on the light. So you're gonna have to discuss with your group or partner which one. Ah, it's hard to do this backwards. Let me try doing this. Actually, you have tried doing this. Okay. So you're going to have to figure out which one makes sense. And you're going to have to try it. And then it might not work. And then you're going to have to try again. And it still might not work. And remember, the tricky thing about the wheels, you got to figure out which way the wheels are moving. Because if your Freddy bot was afraid, it would go away from you, not towards you. So pay attention to the way the wheels go when you have them connected to the battery. <clears throat> So you're going to have to figure out also the difference between which one is blue and which one is black. Hmm. So you have to have a discussion together. So go ahead and play with that. See if you can create what another group created. And if you're successful, then I want you to reflect on all the things that you had to do in order to achieve your challenge goal. Did you have to work together? Did you have to come to an agreement? Did you ever have a disagreement? And if you did, how did you resolve it? What happened if it didn't work? So think about all those things after you have successfully or unsuccessfully created somebody else's robot. I'll have another challenge for you soon. Have fun.